Hi, welcome again to our channel. In this video, we will make a container or a case with screw cap mechanism. So as the one you see on the screen right now, it's a filter case for a 77mm CPL filter that consists of two uh, parts. The first is the base part and then the second one is the cap or the cover part. So for this one, please open your design spark mechanical and we will start making the design. For this project, we will start by making a circle here with diameter 85 millimeters. Okay, and then after that, I will click this one, the offset curve, and then click on this circle and add 1.6 millimeters. Okay, and then continue again. We will click on the outer circle and add another 1.6, and once more, add by 1.6 okay now click select and then we will switch to 3d mode okay now we have this set of surface and we will copy so click here and then press ctrl c and then press ctrl v okay then move up by 12 millimeters and now we will change the shape to become the base and the cover of the container so first let's make the cover so click this one and then we will pull by 11.8 millimeters down so meaning that we still have 0.2 cap between this uh, solid and this uh, base circle okay and then we will select this one two three and four and then pull by 1.6 so now we have the cover or the cap let's hide the cap and now we will make the base so for the base itself first we will click this one and then pull again by 11.8 millimeters okay and then we will spin the view a little and then select these surfaces one two three and four and then pull by 1.6 okay now we have this cap or the cover and this base let's see the cross-sectional view this is it first we will add the thread shape for the cover or the cap so click line but we will not start the thread from the end of the cap we will start here so give some cap so that it's easy to uh, screw on and screw off click here and then we will use 120 degrees and the length of the line is 1.2 and then vertically 0.4 and then after that 120 degrees 1.2 okay we will also need to add a rectangular shape here so like this to make it easy for the pulling or extrusion process this will be the basic shape for the outer thread or the thread for the cap next is the thread for the base so we will click this one line and then start here 60 degrees and the line length is 1.2 again continue from this one vertically 0 0.4 and then 120 degrees 1.2 and after that we will add a small rectangle here so that is easier to extrude okay now click select okay next process is to extrude or to pull these two shapes to become thread to do that first we will need to hide the solids okay and then click 3d mode and then we'll start by the inner or the base thread like this so we will click here and then pull and then click this one the revolve Okay, and then click this one, the the axis, and then click at 
revolve helix now we will input the pitch and the height so for the pitch itself since the thread is 1.6 millimeters so it's advisable to put the pitch larger than that for this one i will put 2.4 meaning one and a half from 1.6 okay and then after that we can pull this thread up so let's press tab twice i will input the height by 4.8 now let's make another one for the outer or the cover so let's hide this one and then show the outer or the cover cap and then click here and then click this one click at the axis click add revolve helix the pitch is 2.4 and the height we will move so this will shows negative value we will input minus 4.8 press enter done okay let's show both uh, part and let's see the cross section view okay nice to finish this design I will add chamfer to the edges so click here and here and then click pull click chamfer and then I will input 0.8 okay hmm looks too thin here so let's add some thickness click here and then click move I will add 0.8 okay looks better now let's again take a look at the cross-sectional view okay now it looks a bit too thick for this area 3d mode and then we will move this uh, surface by 0 0.8 done click select home okay Congratulations, now you can design your own container or case with screw cap mechanism. Anyway, if you have any question or suggestion, please put in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.